All right, welcome back to Indianola for the Des Moines Challenge 2023 edition. We've got a wonderful guest, Parker Welk here, winner of the 2023 DDO in such cool fashion. If you didn't watch the front nine, pause this video, go get a snack, watch the front nine, come back and join us for the back. We got two under on the front, yep. one under even, and we've got a person playing this course from completely blind. Yeah, never been here before, but I'm loving it so far. And all your breakdowns have been blind too. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Nine more holes to go. Yeah, you can throw, you can dance like a dog. Okay, hole 10, 860 foot par five. They've moved the tee box by about 40 feet. In doing so, they have changed this hole dramatically. Um, what used to be an easy hyzer off the tee has now become a multiple shot option. This kind of feels John Halkish in its design. Forehand now becomes a viable play. The hyzer is viable as well, but it's a very wide hyzer that's gonna be testing that out of bounds. There's also some up the middle plays that we might see. Um, don't know what people are gonna find most comfortable, but either way, getting off the tee is obviously very, very important here. The second shot is a lot of downhill action to the bottom of the hill. From there, it's a pitch over the out of bounds creek area to the pin that's kind of island off. I think this hole is gonna go from being the easiest hole in the course to somewhere in the middle just by moving the tee box 40 feet. Jerem, work with me here. If I throw yes, yes. a sidearm out over there and I land kind of, you know, just in the middle up on yep. top of the hill. I think that you're, you're gonna... Uh, Eagle from there or no? What? Eagle from there or no? No, 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 no. No, no The way. only way that the eagle was really in play was when we went really big off this tee. Um, I don't think that eagle is going to be an, a, a play that we're going to yeah. see anyone go for okay. this year. Uh, I think this wide hyzer actually... You think people are eagles? No. But yeah, I mean, every year we're like, no, but yeah. No! The only way that I think we'll see an That's eagle okay. this year on this hole is a throw-in from short of the... Yeah. The water over there? Yeah, yeah. Just by going to the bottom of the hill and someone chucking one in. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think, but it's actually really hard to do because there's a low ceiling branch that keeps you low on that last shot. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Yep. I could always go more over stable, just safer. Yeah, I do like that. That seems pretty... Not a lot of distance, but I don't think the distance off the tee is super important. I really Especially think because it's a par five on, just not, yeah. with this well, sort of distance. It's just getting to the top of the hill is so nice because... You can see where you want to land. Yes, and, yeah. and the next shot's blind, and there's yeah. a lot of tricky things about that next shot. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat these guys today. I know I'm only two back, but playing blind is kind of hard, especially when a lot of these holes are, uh, are blind themselves. But we'll see. Hey everyone, I want to let you know today's video is brought to you by AG1. So huge thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. AG1 is a comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality whole food source ingredients including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens carefully curated to nourish all the body's systems. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. While we do have a degree of individuality, our bodies rely on the same nutrient foundation to nourish the systems that power our health. AG1 is an effortless daily habit. You just take one scoop or one daily travel packet along with at least eight ounces of water every day and that's it. You start your day, set your routine, and you move on. I've personally been taking AG1 every single day for months now. The taste is great and it has a ton of benefits like immunity support, mental clarity, and sustain energy throughout the day so there's less need for things like coffee or energy drinks. So go to drinkag1.com slash Pro to get started. AG1 is offering our community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. That's drinkag1.com slash Pro or click the link down below to get started. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get back to it. Mm. 
shorter than I wanted, but I just that's a that's a good indication of what we got to do. Measurement from there. No. Right, and the trees get through. Yeah, this hole this hole just jumped up in difficulty a ton. I agree. A ton. But you know, that being said, I, I two pretty poor shots. I'm still in position to maybe get it. Love it. Get right. Pretty good. Get oh. right. OB. It might be OB. Yeah, all right. I thought I loved it. Deep. It might be safe though. 300 right. downhill. Is this a mid range? Can be. You want, but what you want, honestly, I like the stable play. So you get underneath. Well, this is stable. No, like with the driver. You know how mid range can lift a little bit sometimes. Dang. I think I'm gonna try them both. Yeah. See what happens. See how that's gonna drop. You know what? I I didn't even want the mid range, honestly. So. Nice. <laughs> nice shot. Good coaching, Good shot, buddy. So so last year at. Two pretty good shots. It wouldn't even be two amazing shots. Two pretty good shots will get you all the way down the hill. Yeah, it was okay. like, you know, like it was kind of a chippy chippy. It felt like it was. And it's crazy because the tees only moved 30 feet, but mm -hmm. the angle changed so much by doing that. Was that a roller play that you had there? Yeah, I tried forehand roller. Forehand roller. I thought about it too. Yeah. Good play. Thanks. This is a super pretty green. I like this. This one would be so tricky. I always like the, the bridge to the greens. Yeah, for sure. Very nice putt. Thank you. Circle par, people. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Outside the circle par. Pretty good. Holy par. My favorite part of the game. Party in the bullseye. <laughs> nice birdie. Thank you. Yeah. Hole 11, par four, 721 feet. This is a tricky tee shot. You can go wide hyzer around everything. There is also a really high inside hyzer to get as far down the fairway as possible. It's a dog leg right to left. The traditional play is gonna be low with something stable to just get in the fairway. Then you're gonna have a tunnel shot through the fairway up to the left, which is pretty tricky to get to. Yeah, yeah that's what I was trying to. <laughs> right on, Jeremy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Board. This is a perfect thumbnail. Come here, Parks. <laughs> get on that big <laughs> <laughs> oh, So dumb. Best thumbnail ever. Just horsing around. Is that inside? It's so, so hard to tell. It's a wee bit early at anything. That might be too long. Yeah, it might be perfect or too might long. I can't remember. Okay. It is so hard to tell. Mid-range stable hard. Oh, it is? Okay. I asked you. You didn't answer me. I'll try it. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know your power. And for me, it's a fast. It's like my Raptor hard, my stable Raptor mm -hmm. hard. But for other people, they're throwing like. Uh, but you don't really need it to skip over like flare. Nope. You just want to be in the middle. In the middle, inbound. You would. You would uh -huh. love to get left. Yeah. If you but it's left, tougher. Oh, no, this is so downhill. I did not know this. Yeah. Yeah, mine is for sure long. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah. Take grass and slow it down. Oh God, Craig. <laughs> nice dodge. He only has. Hey, you just seconds. caught up to. Um, Mike is dodging the most discs ever, maybe. Because that was like 35 right there in one swoop. Oobly. <laughs> he just dodged hey. 20, 27 discs all at once. Roller. Oh, no. Well, is the basket on the left? Yeah, so it. close to being great. Okay. So. If you go far enough in there, it's the worst thing ever because there's OB as well now. Um, I just saw. Yeah, I don't really like this you hear too that, much, Jared? honestly. Yeah, I feel like any OB that's down there should like be a relief up right. to the top. 
Yeah. I, I think. Because like double penalties think, are just. Right here is OB, right? Let's but it goes that. this way, and then you can be in there with nothing. That's what I'm saying. I think any out of bounds should just be a relief up. I like that pink one. Oh, Yuli. Kaboom. Is that short? Yeah. Mm, tried to throw the first one too hard. Go! Also short by not a ton. Probably just outside C1. <laughs> it's going to take more than imagination here. What about the Annie sidearm roller with my disc? My get out of jail free card. No, no. There's no. My, you see where my back foot is? Jesus. <laughs> You Almost want me to impaled. do it when you're done? Dude, this right here? You see how close this was? No kids for jewels, if that is an inch different. No jewels for kids? <laughs> yeah, no jewels <laughs> for jewels. <laughs> 55 feet? <laughs> what, 55? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh my gosh. So far. Yeah. Okay. Not yet. They're close, don't, but they're don't. not dropping. Is it? I Lay can't down. see. I'm sure it rolled though. Jeez, what the heck was that? But oh, that one didn't count. Counted. Right in the middle. For nothing. <laughs> I was wondering why you were so fast with it. Uh-uh. Trying to gain some confidence here, sir. Fair, fair, fair play. <laughs> yeah. Please make it. Thank you. <laughs> we do go this way, right? Here. Up, okay. Like a short little one second clip and then it'll be the actual breakdown after. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Of us, what's, the, what's the dance move? Of us doing like a... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, partner. Yeah. Ow, don't oh, hurt me. Oh, wow, owie. Were you recording? That's a one-time take. Good. <laughs> That's just the um, breakdown. <laughs> hole 12, 260. Looks like we're going straight downhill. There is some OB to worry about short, so you do not want to hit the, the low ceiling up top. Um, I think this is probably going to be one of the best or easiest holes to birdie. Nice breakdown. Right? <laughs> I think we all got embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And I'm about to shank nice the shot breakdown. too. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Dude, I didn't mention the double Mandy. I didn't see it. It was triple. Triple Mandy. Mandy. Oh. Ah, that's an ace on the other basket last year. I know. Damn it. I know. Is it Miskis? Yeah, I bogeyed. Yeah, I bogeyed. Like like flickled it. I, I bogeyed too. No. Oh, shoot. That was awesome. Yeah. I knew it. I knew I was going to do that right after did I you, said did it was the early easiest it? hole. Yeah. Early release. Everyone's gonna make fun of me. No one's gonna make fun of you. You're a champ. Oh, slow You're down. Champion. Another one. Try it. Flip it and then make it go through the little hole. I'll do it better. I'll flip it, make it go through the hole, and it'll stand up when it gets to the ground. Okay. I think I can't do things that are cool. I try again. You gotta have the satisfaction. Of I didn't it. see anything. Like do this. Oh. But then if you hit it right, it goes. Oh. I'll do it my first try. What up? You guys. Oh, nice. That was fire. It's still combo. Ball's still moving. What are you guys? Well, Paul's sitting down. It's not quite. Yeah, right. the ball's still moving. It's still combo. You can't do that, Paul. That took you made it go. Brrr. Brrr. Yeah, one of them went like brrr, all the way through. Really cool, like like that. Nah, oh, that yeah, yeah. Okay, that was decently cool. Ooh, good opportunity for decoy pile. All right, so we got pile made. 
All right, now we make decoy pile to make him think that it's right here. Oh God. Not great. All right, decoy pile number one. All right, decoy pile number two. Let's see how long it takes him to figure it out. Where am I? It's probably me. Okay. This is a fun putt, Paul. You want to make make it for me? I'll make it for you. Pterodactyl. Actually, almost pterodactyl required, but no, I got I got a ceiling. Nice one. I also threw another this is bad one in here somewhere. Well, you better putt. You better make sure. You better make sure. Is it there or is it right here? <laughs> or is it right here? I don't know. I'll putt, oh, but I lost put another it? one. <laughs> Did you throw it in the woods? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. Dang, yep. Now this is for bogey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, practice throw. Putt. Nice bird. That was sweet, dude. That tricked me. <laughs> no chains. I know. Don't worry, none, none hit. <laughs> nope. Nice. That's even more satisfying, though, when it goes in the top. Catches one. in Chunk. the pocket. Mm -hmm. All right, let's unofficially name this one the three hole par. Three, hole 13, 333. You're more likely gonna take a three on it. Tight gap off the tee, kind of. Actually, midway through the fairway. But from there, there is um, still out of bounds up by the green. Yeah. That's where a lot of the forehands end up going if they do get clean all the way up there because it's very close to the pin. Um, you might see some backhand turnovers. I'm sure you're going to see plenty of those as well. But I think the forehand play sets up the left or the center gap the best. But dealer's choice always is. I'm going to throw it to What are you thinking? Uh, same. I think that's what I did last year. And I think this disc is perfect for this hole if I throw it correct. Yeah, like that. Come on. I mean, I'm happy with that. That's so good. Yep. I mean, it's yeah. not the greatest, it's just those but freaking trees that's there. a perfect flight. Yep. For what I'm looking for. So close to great. That's straight play. So close to great. I don't even know. Is the wide play there? Or? Yeah, 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 I think it is. It's just you the just problem with the wide oh, I play. See the, I see the circle edge, I think, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. The problem with the wide play is that the edge on the left side of that entrance kind of sticks out a bit. Mm -hmm. And by going wide, you're bringing that edge as a yeah. bunker play yeah. a little bit. But I, I, there's a lot of, I mean, you're at least getting th up there. Yeah, I think it'll give me a putt if I hit it. At least. Totally, totally. And a lot of players that I, saw, I remember last year, oh. they were kind of just content with crashing up high and then just hoping that they kind of filtered through. Because it is pretty thick. Oh yeah, that's the other thing you got to think about a little bit with that hyzer play is that if you do get through that corner, you're coming in at that hyzer angle, it very well could skip OB. I, I don't like the OB here so much. I think that it kind of penalizes a great drive. but I think you're right. But it also, like, I think it's kind of dangerous back there, so I think it's a safety thing, but... Well, I, I like it that it guards the hyzer spike. Yeah, I, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I might like the high play just to get a putt, maybe? Now I'm liking the back end up the gut just to throw it in the middle. Well, it's too bad when you're on the Jomez practice round, you only get one practice round for the rest of the week. <laughs> like, yeah, that's this the rule. Is, this is it. Them's the rules. I mean, this is your only practice round for the rest of the week. God dang it. You're putting. Yo, what are like the scores normally around these practice runs? In like, ours? Like, like good or like? Sometimes, sometimes good, sometimes horrible. <laughs> it's not looking uh, sometimes good decent. for us today. Well, I'm, if I make this, I'm six. Six? I've already the last however many in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, 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 I missed, the, I missed the one down the hill. Oh, I can't get it there. Dang it. Tester. 
Oh! Mm. Yeah, we're good. Aunties. Dang it. One more. More zip. That is consistent. There we go. Like that. Like a little. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, take note of how close this will be over here, Parker. Yeah. It's, it's like. It's down the hill a little bit. Actually, they kind of gave us, eh. So what's what's stopping you guys from throwing a putter right up the middle to, right in the middle over here to just get a putt? To do what? Brad, just throw a, a putter straight up the middle right oh, there. I think people will do that. I think that's a hard shot. Hole 14, par four, 720 foot, downhill. Don't throw it too far. There is an out of bounds like um, ditch where you go over the little bridge to the green. It's slightly up the hill, low ceiling, tough. Tricky little hole to land in the middle. Distance control is key. And then your upshot is also gonna be difficult. Love this par four. Now, this is a beautiful one. This is a this is, is a this thinking man's or a thinking person's is this a par bruiser, four. Paul? Huh? Is this a bruiser? No, hole four is the bruiser. Hole four? Yeah, we both double bogeyed it. Paul par three. Yeah. This is a this is a hole where you can get baited into trying to throw too far. Mm-hmm. It's all about keeping it in the middle. You have okay. no access to the pin if you are not central. So you have to really right. figure out how you're going to get there. I've seen some people go big sidearm hyzer to the spot. Yeah. Right. Yep. Don't hit that. Thank you. Second, yeah, it's hooking now. Like a fairway? Yep. Instead, hmm? Fairway instead of a... Well, even that. fairway can get far. I mean, yeah. I. There's so many ways of doing it. I mean, Paul, what'd you throw? I threw a vulture. It's a, it's a I, I'm gonna throw my more stable one on my next shot. But if you just aim at the tree line on the right with uh -huh. something stable and get in front of that bush, you'll have a shot in. Okay. Or the sidearm, like he's saying, a lot of people do that. I just don't remember if they were going like inside the street. Yeah, there must just be just like land in the middle out there somewhere. One, I think that. Okay. Damn it. Oh yeah. Get get. Oh, that, that should get. be. Get left. That's where, like, bo bogey. A lot of bogeys live in here. <laughs> yeah, I, they say they're. I think I'd rather just keep. And in the they middle instead own of... that piece of property. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find a par, but it's rare. High it's hard price. to get out. The pars are high priced. In <laughs> yeah, that, in that neighborhood. Hard to get out over there. Yep. Oh, let's just slip and then keep throwing. And then just pure it. Yeah, but still. <laughs> So my yeah, whole philosophy is throw a disc that doesn't have the distance to get into that crap. Oh. This is a forehand. This is a total forehand. I think I'll just throw oh. a freaking sweet little feathery little. No more. Right to the feathery little. Nice ha, shot. Hot, hot. Little ha, 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 ha. How far? Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Ah. Yeah, you kind of hit a little bit of the high stuff. You kind of got through it, but it just slowed it down enough to hit the edge, and you kind of fell in that corner there. Was I going to be fine if it didn't hit the stuff? Uh, yeah. Like 60 but short, maybe. But no OBs? I don't think you would have been. Okay. Just trying to get a distance reference from there. Nice, Jerm. Very good. Sweet. Well, this tells me that I can take this disc and throw it harder and land here. I was just taking my fastest, flippiest destroyer and just throwing a 310 foot shot with it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see if I can flex this one. Oh, oh my no. Goodness. Yeah, you avoided disaster. Isn't this where we had the uh, battle carts last year, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That was pretty good. Yeah. Don't really know how I'm going to play this one. 
Oh, you're deep in there? No, I'm around the edge, but it's... Are you in the circle or out of the circle? I am uh, in the circle. Oh, that's the worst. Because then you can do that little step yeah. forward thing. I, I may have to cheat a little bit here. It's all good. Paul does it every round we play. What? Maybe, oh cheat no, maybe I can get in here. Not every round we play, just practice rounds. <coughs> I don't cheat in the tournament. I have integrity. Oh yeah, I can get here. Where'd you go? <laughs> he's, he's one step in and completely invisible. Oh, I thought you made it. Try. Look at my caddy real quick, turn around. Stretching. This is what I live with. Kaboom. He's literally like a bear. Any little knob that he finds, he's grinding on it on a spot on his body. Trying to get a knot out. Oh, like a bear? Yeah. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just He's like, oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a sweet birdie to get. I don't think I got that one. I don't even think I sniffed that one last Bogey. year. Bogey. All right, hole 15, par four, 600 feet. Um, we really want to get out left on the tee. Uh, it's usually just going to be a back end hyzer. You don't want to push it too straight because then you'll find the out of bounds. Um, and just kind of up and down, you just really need to get a birdie here. That birdie gets me back to even par. I, I actually went over par. I'm I'm at three under. I think I'm two over right now yep. with that bogey. This course is feeling hard, but I don't know if it is. I it's not. It's not, is I'm, it? I'm going to be playing it completely different than, yeah. than how I'm playing it today. Yeah. Not the greatest practice round, but also, I don't know. I feel like there's more it's teeth not, than you give it credit for. We can go four in a row and shoot five, or I can shoot an eight or something. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. Oh, Eight's so a good much. round here. Six to eight, really. Yeah, yeah. I shot eight last year and moved up far. Yeah. I believe. Or okay. nine or something. This is your toughest bear left coming in right here. And it's totally getting Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Did it miss everything? I think it did. I think that was yeah. really good. Parker, you're up, buddy. Par. I bogey. Bogey. Josh is giving, we need to work on our signs with Josh because I don't know, he's just pointing all sorts of directions and I, our sign language is so off. I have no idea what he's trying to tell me. So I just want to get underneath that tree or like a little bit yes. past it? Yes, get left of the tree, somehow under it. Okay. Don't be short. Yep. That's Yep, that's it. That's pretty much That's perfect. exactly what you're Yep. Okay. I think he might have been signaling that I may have gone OB long. I don't know if that's the case or not. It doesn't really matter what I think now. Do you feel like it was pretty good? Mine? Shot? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I liked it. I was, the only thing I was concerned about was hitting the, the base of the tree. What I'm actually trying to do, if I throw it perfect, is actually left of this tree underneath that ceiling. Oh, okay. Because I can get way up there. Um, I had a drive that I didn't even make any sense last year in practice where I had like 250 to the pin or 230. I had something wow. stupid. Where I, I don't, a backhand could not get there. You know, yeah. the only way you can get that much distance was with, is with the turnover. But I think I might have hit it too hard. Oh no, no, I'm um, cherry. Yeah, this next shot is so tr so tricky. It's just everything slopes away. Maybe we cut off the part where I said it's got you got a birdie. No, you don't got a birdie this one. Yeah. This is this is a great birdie. I just didn't Three, really what? know what to say. No, you seventy. <laughs> you okay. gotta take a stab. <laughs> you gotta take a stab at it. From the sign, it kind of just looked like chip shot, chip shot, and then now that I'm looking at it. The green is, is, is tricky. Yeah. You can find, if you're like 25 feet left, you're in the woods. Yeah. Get out there. That looks really good, Paul. No, it's gone, but. Sit down. No, sit down, sit down. Gone. He's, but I can't do much. He'll have a trick putt, but he's got pupper birdie. I, I could have gotten cute with it and turned it over to land it soft, but. Yeah, that's so scary. I I'm good, I'm good so, without so that. So, so scary. Like that. That's so good. Yep. So good, Parker. Go in. Sit down. Oh, oh yeah. and it checked up. Checked up because it was done Heck with yeah. its flight. Go. Go. Don't go. Skippies. Don't go. Yeah, we like it. Wow. Did I go 
No, I didn't go B, but tried to. Seriously, with a, with a flat Firebird, should never skip that far. Oh. <laughs> I mean, dang it. Yeah, maybe. Beauty. Thank you. Yeah. Spooked him. All right, hole 16, par three, 315 feet. Plays like it's 215 feet. Very, very, very touchy downhill shot. Obviously, you got to get through this gap here. Hopefully, that's not a big issue. But the problem is, is there are, a... gosh, you made it fast up this hill. Yeah, those leggies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Down the hill, there are a couple trees that become very problematic that are pretty much, they feel like they're in the center of the fairway. Um, there is out of bounds right behind the pin, but it's close enough that if you do find that OB um, in the right spot, it's almost a tap in three if that comes from your drive. Um, but you need that disc moving left. So, tough one. Tricky. Yeah, it's very tough. It's, tr it's, it's just tricky. random. A lot of OBs happen by random. Okay, with the right to left, do I go straighter and let the disc kind of do the work? No, God. That might be it. I'm so bad. Really? Yeah, I hit tree at the top of the hill. That was terrible. It's my bike. I, I bogeyed the whole right? Oh, so to be fair, it's thing. not too far off from like what you want, but it's, that's pretty bad. There's R. <laughs> Is that good? Might be perfect. That much hyzer? Yeah, it's it's a it's so weird. Yeah. Forty short. It's in line though. I hit something. in line though probably. That should have got all the way there, so don't let that. Okay. Don't let that. I think. That looks perfect, but you gotta miss those. Nope, got them. That's why I go wide. With Whoa. super staves. There aren't too many holes that you can play, I feel like, on our tour that you can like just really say, there ain't anything else like this. And this one, there's nothing like this. Yeah. This is a truly unique hole. Yep. And I like it for that, you know? I it makes you think. And to Aaron Gossage's point last week about par threes, you know, they're not thinking person's holes. Like, I, I think this one makes me think a lot. This would be a nice putt to hit right Yeah, here. I know. I, I, I'm going to give it some spin. I have nothing to lose here. I think you got it. Oh, Jesus, Jeremy. Four. Oh, he went That's away. OB. Hit OB? something. Might have, might have saved him. Yeah, the OB so is like... So it's like, like, a, it's like an island over here. Yes, kind of. That's not good. Hit the, hit the bridge. You got saved, I think. Bang! How you doing, that Doc? That was freaking nice putt, dude. That was Thank sick. You. Thank you. That Ooh, was so nasty. My, uh... Oh my God, Parker! Look at that. Actually, you might be safe. Could be safe. <laughs> I think you're barely safe. I think you're like you could not be closer. This is pretty sweet, <laughs> dude. You're definitely. <laughs> is that safe? You're safe. You're safe. Let me see. It's a group decision. <laughs> no, it's definitely safe. It's just it couldn't be closer. Oh, that's in bounds. Okay. Oops. Thank you. Oh, so <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know. <laughs> Boink. That's a bad bogey to take. Hole 17 is a par three, 330 feet down the valley up the hill. I mean, this doesn't really need an explanation. Just look at it. One of the more beautiful scenic holes. On the course, honestly. Just great job. Red mulch against the green backdrop through the woods. It does, I mean, you just can't make a prettier looking hole. Vulture try to ace the short pin, I think. Short. 
Just right. zero commitment. You, sir? That, that branch really gets in my head. Oh, this initial one? Yeah, big time. Yeah, that's an Isaac Robinson blocker. Hmm. Not in parks. Activate, oh. activate. Oh, gosh. Almost. So close. Too much, dude. Way too much. But with a bad shot, that's pretty good. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this, this, there, there couldn't be a better shape for me to feel like I could gain a stroke on people than this one. This looks amazing, dude. Great job. Yeah. This Top is five really prettiest hole. holes on tour right now. I think so because, I mean, like, if you guys could build a little creek that we could see, then it would be top three. <laughs> green grass through the woods, check. Red mulch, green, check. I mean, it's just beautiful. Oh. Oh, you suck. What is that? Oh, you got it. It's just, even if that was online, that would have hit the cage. There's a better height. Even if that's high, I'd rather miss high. Almost better percentage for me. Huh? We go down and then up? I, yeah, we go downhill. I mean, unless they change anything. Hole 18, we did it. Um, <laughs> bar 5, it. 1080. Kind of just looks like a, a bomb on the first shot. I'm not sure what happens after that, but we'll find out here. Looks like Obi down the left side the entire way, missed some trees. He's got a voice for We'll see. You, uh, you have a cool story about your caddy last week, yeah? Was it, you said it was your mom? Someone said your, was yeah, it was my mom. Your mom was caddying? Mm -hmm. Did she, she fly in before the tournament? or? Yeah, so it's after Portland, uh, I missed the cut at the time by, by one mm -hmm. because I, I hit the first tree off the tee on 18 after having a pretty, pretty decent round. Mm. Um, and uh, I was missing my wife as well, and I missed the cut, and I was just kind of down, and I was just like, you know what? I'll book a flight. So I booked a flight literally right there, and I flew out on Sunday. And I went home, I didn't touch a disc for a week and a half. And then oh, wow. uh, I called my mom, I said, hey, you wanna fly out to Kansas City and uh, pick me up from the airport and go see the family and also caddy for me. And she flew out the same day as me Thursday and picked me up from the airport and she caddied for me all three rounds, got to see my family down there in Iola. Wait, 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 you said Thursday. Yeah. Tournament started Friday. Uh-huh. You got there the day before the tournament started? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're looking at a new formula for success. <laughs> <laughs> and you had, did you play Worlds last year? I did, yeah. That's okay. why That's why I thought that, you know, okay. it was it was okay for but me. But there to, were some changes. I mean, there were three or four well, holes. Well, last year changed. at Worlds, I was playing with Paul McBeth in my practice round, and our games are so different, but I was trying to emulate him, and he's doing, like, these touchy turnover shots, and yeah. that's not really my game. I'd rather just bomb the forehand. Yeah, and right. So I, I did that Watch this time. Watch Gossage play, not McBeth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I did that this time, and, and it worked. A million well, times better. So I think it worked well, good. Worked yeah. okay. Yeah, it worked okay. That's so cool, man. Thanks for the backstory. Yeah. That's awesome. Shout out to my mom for doing that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Shout out to all the moms and dads. A couple days after Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, I'm even par. I have done nothing in 17 holes. I don't holes. Even know what I am. Four. Four under. Nice. Look, you look, mom. I think I'm two still. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank I, I got nothing over. left in the tank. Well, you got one more hole to <laughs> yeah, play if you want to. Pitch count. I'll tell you what, if you don't finish, you automatically lose. And I win, I think, because I think I'm beating you right now, yeah? And I'm not going to donate to, to the, oh. your foundation, so you better finish the hole. All right. Finish. What do I need, an eight? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> eight should do it. <laughs> Dang it. Uphill run up. Good rip. I don't think you'll love the second shot, or will you? I, don't know. I think you want to be more left. I think. Yeah, I pulled it a little, but that thing, Is I'm just far? testing yeah, it out. It's you. I agree, Brad. I think I'm far so enough aim to for the I'll, camera guy I'll up there. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I think, if Maybe anything, left. between camera guy and the dude that's over there stringing is like the money pocket, but yeah, yeah just as far as you can throw, really. Owie. 
Now we freaking bugs. Yeah, nice. Nice. I mean that's big. Two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That's good D. That's good distance. Get down. Oh, that's car. Truck. Bike. Oh, never mind. Might be safe. Might be safe. Might also be the worst throw. I think one of the best things that I've done for myself this year is be patient. And I have scrapped. Well, no, I think I've been very, I, I think I have been patient, but I think I've been like losing a little bit of the fire that I needed. I, I go back and forth with this. You know, I'm, I'm in my 17th year of playing. And there's times when I don't want to go play disc golf. But it's my job. And disc golf is, in general, pretty sweet. So I can't really complain, but I don't want to go play every tournament every time there's a tournament. I just, it's my job, so I do it. It's a job, it's relative. Oh, I'm dead meat. And early season, I wanted to play all the tournaments. And lately, I just, I don't know, I haven't wanted, yeah, I, I didn't right. want to play Portland or DDL. And I feel pretty good about playing this week. Yeah. But today's round's been pretty, it's all right. Safe, but behind the ropes. How is that even possible? What, what is this? How weird. What? This is a first. Lasers. So I, I, want, I want to bend it left and we're going that way or? You want to go that bush in the middle? Left or right Anything of that bush? past that if you can. Okay. Right of the bush or left of the bush and Actually, down. This is gonna be and you got a shot, shot in. Ah, turned it over. Get down. Yeah. Wrong disc. Oh, I think that's right behind the bush. <laughs> if you told me how to play this hole for birdie, break down each shot, I think the only thing I could tell you is throw it far off the tee. From there, yeah. I don't know what the next steps are. I didn't sniff a birdie last year on this hole, and I feel like if I don't five, have a right? good game plan, I won't sniff it again this year. Yes, tough par five. <laughs> Might be putting. All right, 350 up 17 uphill run up. That's like 110% of what I've got, I feel like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, yeah. Go in. One to skip. Come on. That was so a good throw. Oh, that was awesome. That was so good. That looks raised, is it? It feels good to finish with a good throw. If I'm going to berate myself for my bad throws, I better say something nice to myself when I throw the good ones. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like I, do, I am not nice enough to myself when I'm not playing well. It's like the number one thing I think that we could all, if you've ever had a bad mental game, it's probably because you're not nice to yourself. And I hate myself. Yeah, totally. You have to be your best friend. Gosh, even if, even if you're not playing well, if you're nice to yourself. It works. It's just so much more enjoyable. It works. Yeah, you're not gonna feel Ching. depressed. Paul, you're so fun to be around. Jeez. You are just a one fantastic guy to hang out with when you're by yourself. And you gotta believe it. That's the other part. I do. I'm Watch. Just, I didn't say that you didn't believe it. I'm just, that's just a note. Oh yeah, oh. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Damn, Jim, that was bulls party in the bullseye? Yeah, party in the bullseye. Let's go. Big, big bull. What are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Beauty. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Woo! He made the basketball shot. Points. Jumper. Jeremy, you want to go so I can have my victory putt? You, you can lay it up, can't you? <laughs> hey, clear the stage for my guy. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, lay up. <laughs> it's a big moment. Uh, 
Thanks, Brad. Yes, Be respectful. Oh, boy. Dude, that was great. That was fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Great round. Great plan. Appreciate it, man. So Course record four under for me. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, huh? Good shooting, dude. <sighs> okay, well, that's going to do it for us here. <laughs> We're uh, 18 holes deep. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Parker, it was a pleasure yeah, to get yeah. to know you better, man. Yeah. Thanks for showing up today. Of course, it was so much fun. Thank yeah. you for driving. Congratulations me. on last week Seriously. and your future performance. That was two days ago. Like, was this, you know, this is, we're filming these on Tuesdays. Yeah. Uh, that was two days ago, so there's no way it's actually set in yet, has it? It, well, the first time I was by myself, I, we went home after hanging out with like AB's crew and all those guys and uh, I went home to take a shower and I was just sitting in the shower and I just started bawling. Yeah, it was, dude. it was, yeah. That was the moment that it happened to me. And yeah. It's crazy. Man, there's nothing like, it's first time you break through, you know, everyone's coming up to you and then there's this moment where you're by yourself for the first time, like you're saying, mm -hmm. where it's just like, it hits you. Mm -hmm. That's and, just sweet. And you did, not only did it for yourself, other people in your situation now know that it's possible. So you're paving the way for the rest of the tour that's yeah. taking a chance to go on tour, yeah. and then they see somebody do it and they go, if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah, you know totally. what I mean? So it's a big moment for the sport. Yeah. Congratulations. Big moment for the sport today for me, for the foundation. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, no, we're doing big things actually this year. We're giving, you we're are. gonna be doing, I'm pretty sure we're giving away three scholarships to some lucky, uh, college students this year and that's where the wow. money's going to be donated so that's so cool check yeah. that out check out the yuli well, what's the full official name the yulebari leadership foundation foundation mm -hmm. yep and uh yeah that's going to wrap it up for us here again three round event which means our coverage will begin saturday morning check your local listings on the youtubes for that <laughs> once again thanks again parker yep. that's going to wrap it up for us here we'll see you next time